Hello, how are you? How's life? How's level two treating you? Well, I hope. I love my children, but can I just say, thank goodness school is back. Anyway, today I want to talk about a tender lyrical coming of age story. It's called The Last Tree. It's a semi-autobiographical tale from writer-director Shola Amo, and it's Shola's second feature film. So if you like Spike Lee's style or you enjoy moonlighting, then I think that you will enjoy The Last Tree. It explores British black identity and belonging, masculinity, the act of mothering, and even though the film is set in the early 2000s, they're all themes that very much resonate today. We meet our hero, uh, British Nigerian Femi, as an 11 year old boy and he is living a carefree life with his gentle British foster mother Mary uh, in rural Lincolnshire. Now life changes abruptly though when his Nigerian mother, uh, Yinka, reclaims the boy, stating she is now set up and ready to raise her son in London. So Femi finds himself uprooted to a tough inner London estate surrounded by bleak tower blocks and is left to fend for himself while his mother works. And this sudden change affects Femi immensely. He shuts down and he distance himself, distances himself from Yinka, this woman who is his mother but hasn't raised him. We then skip forward five years to find teenage Femi is still struggling to find his place and work out who he is. So visually and sonically, the film is defined by location, so the light, the mood, the pace of the film is different in each location. A powerful performances by both actors who play Femi at different ages, along with low angle close ups and slow motion scenes really take us inside Femi's head. Look, there are other characters involved in Femi's story, but The Last Tree is really all about his journey alone. Moving, understated, well-crafted and thoughtful, The Last Tree has not surprisingly done all the festivals, it's been doing the circuit and was nominated for the Grand Jury Prize at the Sundance Film Festival. So don't miss The Last Tree, it's screening on Rialto Channel on Sunday 24th of May at 8.30pm. Enjoy!